Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I am going to show you how to quickly select multiple rows without dragging the mouse. So here I have this huge data set, multiple thousands of rows and what I need to do is I need to quickly select the first 500 rows. And this is a dummy data set, but recently I was working with a data set where I had to just do this. I had to select the 500 rows from each uh, worksheet tab and copy it in a tool that I was using. So now one of the ways of doing this is that I can drag the mouse or I can use uh, the keyboard to drag it down to 500 rows. But if I have a lot of worksheet tabs, then I will have to do this uh, manually every time. And this is something that wastes uh, some of my time. So I thought why not try and do this uh, faster and then I came up with these two methods to do this. Now the first method which is the non-VBA method is using the name box. So name box is this box that you see here which is to the left of the formula bar. And what happens here is that if I select a cell that cells address appears in the name box. If I select a range of cells uh, that active cell address comes here. But what I can also do here is I can use the name box to quickly select cells in this worksheet. So for example, if I come here and I type A1 is to A500 and I hit enter, it will instantly select 500 cells in column A. Similarly, if I come here and I type A1 is to D500, then it will instantly select 500 rows in these four columns which is a b c and d and now if i want to copy it i can quickly copy it and paste it wherever i want so this is the non vba method now let me quickly show you the vba method which is which i also call as the single click method because you can add the vba code in quick access toolbar and then all you have to do is simply press that and it will instantly select however number of rows you want it to select so let me show you how to do that uh, so first I'll have to write a short VBA code. I would go to the developer tab and here I have the visual basic option. If I click on it, it will open the visual basic editor. Uh, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. Now here I would right click on any of these objects, go to insert module and here I would write the code. So let me call this sub select 500 cells. And now here I only need to write one single line of code which would be range and now I would need to specify the first cell that I want to select and the last cell and it would automatically select the entire thing. So here I would manually I can use active cell or you can also use a specific range so I can instead of active cell I can hard code range A1 but in this case let me show you how to do this with, with active cell and then comma and then the last cell which would be active cell dot offset 500 comma zero which means that come to the active cell then go to the 500 row below the active cell and select this. So what this would do is this range would cover the entire range starting from the active cell which is the first argument and going up to the second argument which is 500 rows below the active cell and since I've said select these it would select these. So see what happens when I run this code I click on this green play button and see what happens it will instantly select 500 cells in column A. Similarly if I want to select let's say not only column A but up till column D I can come here and I can say 4 and now if I run this see what happens it will select all those cells not 4 here I should have said 3 because uh, it already includes the active cell column so if I come here and I run this it will select the 4 columns up till 500th cell so you can use this code and if you don't only want to select these, if you also want to copy it, instead of select, I can type copy here. And now if I run this, see what happens. I would come here, I would select this cell, which becomes the active cell. I would come here and now I would run this. And as soon as I do this, you can see, you see these marching ants, which means that this area, these 500 cells have been copied. Now I can simply go to the tool where I want to paste these cells and simply paste it. So this makes my work really, really easy. Now let me also quickly show you how to add this VBA code to the quick access toolbar. So I would come here in the quick access toolbar, click here in this uh, more commands drop down, go to more commands 
and in this Excel options dialog box, click on macros. And when I click on macros, it will show me the list of all the macros I have in this workbook. So if I select this one, which is select 500 cells, click on add and click OK, you'd see that now it appears here and see what happens when I select this active cell or any active cell from which I want to start the copying and I click on it, it will instantly copy all these cells. So if I have to do this for data one tab, I can do this. Then I come to data two tab, I come here, I click and instantly select this. So this saves me time because I do not have to use the mouse or keyboard to drag and go up to the 500th row and select and copy these. So these are two ways you can quickly use to select a limited number of rows. I've used 500, you can use 100 or 200, whatever number you want in Excel using Namebox and using VBA. That's it in this video. I hope you found this useful. Thank you and have a nice day.